So, what's up guys, this is King Fox, and this is Mythic Milk. This is the character that has the role-playing video that I made like a year and a half ago. Um, I absolutely love him. You can tell he's one of my mains because of the name I gave him. Um, any character that I put Mythic Milk on um, is just like, it, it could be considered like a main as well. Because I just, this is always going to be a nickname, whatever that. I've had it for so many years now it's ridiculous but yeah I don't I, here's the thing paladins are kind of weird with me um I always kind of like low-key hated them not as much as I hate like rogues oh my goodness guys as a warrior as a warrior from vanilla you know I there's some classes or whatever that you just ride against and you're just like never I'm never gonna play a rogue I'm never gonna play a paladin you know, these are two classes that just annoyed the hell out of me during the Classic WoW, during um, Vanilla. So I had this whole thing with, like, you know, warriors that could kind of, like, heal and stuff like that and rogues in just about every game. Like, as you notice, I never play assassin-type classes ever because I just... I don't like the idea of them I, I like the only reason i even have one on my account is for the purpose of having every class which is something that i was trying to do a while back nowadays i'm just like the levels are getting out of hand i don't even want to have one of every class anymore um i don't think leveling should be the primary focus anymore um like doing questing and stuff like that is fun i think the game should focus more on like it being immersive and telling stories or whatever um so actually i'm excited for this whole level squish thing coming up because i think it will be a lot cooler or whatever not having to go through so many levels that kind of like like when i'm questing you do a whole zone and you get like five levels out of the zone at, at a lower level and at even higher levels even like right now or whatever i think if you're like you know 110 or something like that you pretty much only need like two zones and battle for azeroth to get to max level i believe um and you don't really feel like you gain a lot of stuff at all but all this stuff is like you know me preaching to the choir this is something that every wild player kind of knows right but let me tell you guys man for a paladin i never actually like it, although he has mythic milk and i consider him a main as well whatever i can never bring myself to fully like play paladins though it's it's mainly because of they only have one spec that i love i love retribution i think it's like really cool whatever but the other specs it's like am i ever going to be a holy paladin like or a holy kaladin don't take that name guys don't take that's my name holy kaladin i'm 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 gonna go make a character right after this video. Okay, it's probably already taken, but I'm gonna have two paladins, Mythic Milk and Holy Paladin. I'm gonna paladin and I'm gonna dual box them and beat people up. I'm gonna be legendary. Oh my goodness. I just, you know, that that came out naturally. I was not trying to say the whole meme with the legendary thing again, but you know, what, what can I say? What can I say? Anyway, so I am, I love this character and I recently want to play a paladin whatever um on this character it's kind of weird because I feel like he's so strong there's some some fights you have to pick and choose some fights you just need to like chill out on or something like that but there's so many other fights that you just run through people like I'm, I'm telling you um paladin is all about movement and I don't know if you guys like understand that but let me kind of break it down in this way, okay? Um, 80% of good paladins, what makes them good is their movement and the way that they position their self um, to fight. Because a lot of it is melee and smashing through people, but only when you have the upper hand. So you should kite whenever possible. And anytime your enemy takes a second to sit there and be dumb, you have a 1.4 second flash of light that you can just woof, like boom, instantly gives you literally a crap load of, um, you know, health, like 10K health. Like that's, that's nothing to like really sneeze about, especially when people are only hitting you and stuff like that for anywhere from 10 to 30K damage. So you can just think of that as like a massive damage reduction, right? Especially when you're playing against melee, because if they can't get to you, say if you use your um, hand of hindrance, right? 
Hand of Hindrance is crazy. It's a 70% movement speed slow. So you're going to do something like Hand of Hind Hindrance, right? And you're going to hit Blessing of Freedom. So that way they can't even like slow you to even keep up with you. And you want to go one step farther, you can do something like boom, boom, right? You get all this space on them, throw yourself like two hills and then get ready to like smash them as soon as they come back into range and kind of like kite away, you know, and only come back when you have, you know, the stuff that you need to throw out some damage. There's no point in auto attacking or anything like that. And I even consider Crusader Strike to a point to be auto attacking. Like when you're stuck in combat, yes, yeah, smash that Crusader Strike, smash that Crusader Strike, smash whatever skill you have or whatever to use. But I'm telling you guys, things like using Hammer of Justice properly, right? So a lot of times the slow from Hand of Hindrance is so ridiculous. Like it's only 10 seconds and it's a 30 second cooldown, right? But it forces Trinket out of other players like nobody's business. So, and, and this is funny because I don't even main Paladin, but like I, I PVP with him um, from time to time. Let me see how much PVP things I even have. Probably not a lot at all. I might get this guy gear just to kind of show you guys. This guy is crazy. Now, when I first came into expansion, let me tell you guys, I was looking to main him, and the main reason was I was tired of getting jumped. In this expansion, well, and, and while in general, when you go into battlegrounds and stuff like that, people will jump the hell out of you now. Like, that's just a thing. That's just the thing. Like, Alliance, it's not just Alliance. Horde are guilty of this too, whatever, but I'm just going to state my experience as a Horde. So you're out there questing and you're hanging out with some people and you see an alliance and he waves to you he does all this little silly geeky stuff listen kill his you know what i mean you better get in them cheeks bro because i'm telling you it happens every single time you're out here you're hanging out you minding your business you see the you see the ops you like you know what i mean it's a sunday i'm gonna let it ride neutral you know what i mean and then hit one of his buddies pull up all of a sudden all of a sudden he's about that life and now they're both charging you right so i'm just like i'm sick of this grandpa you know and um what happened was i was like that's why i leveled up that um that's why i leveled up that monk i was like yeah jump me if you want i'm a karma one dude beat the brakes off of you and then we're gonna 1v1 the next guy right and i'm just like this is how it's gonna go down this is how it's going down and there's nothing anyone can do about it because th this is what's happening right but then they kind of like nerf monk a little bit or they like buff other classes to the point where monk kinda sucks like you have to really finesse in your movement you really have to you might as well just play a demon hunter you really do because then you can beat up one person and you can out kite the other person you know what i mean you can cc and out kite the other person so i definitely recommend that over a uh, monk but then you know i realized that paladins they have cleave they have bubbles they have resets you know and if you play your paladin right and it takes time or whatever to kind of learn what i'm talking about it's almost like a dance you guys know you guys know what i'm talking about i say this with with every game um pvp is like a dance once you oh my goodness oh i thought i thought this i thought this robot was attacking me i actually have that robot i need to get that robot i think that's what i was doing before i ran to the street he scared me though i lost train of thought right but you know that's why I I, ha I play these characters, even Death Knight. This is my reasoning for playing every melee class. Because majority of melee classes can handle 2v1s if you're geared. They can handle 2v1s if you're about that life. So that's one of my main reasonings behind it. So I'm gonna, oh. He got me, got me. Dang, okay. Whatever, I might as well just AOE them all. I mean, he, oh he. Why he do that? Oh my god, this dude's goofy. Bro, now they're gonna come back and I'm gonna have to fight even more. Oh, they're coming back. Can I get it? Can I get it? Oh, I got it. Oh, I got it. And I'm looting this. Oh, it's only one. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. So, back to what I was saying. I pick melee classes and a lot of times it forces my hand or whatever and, and you know that's why I play Druid as well because Druid's one of the only casters that can handle multiple targets 
Uh, my 1v1 game, no matter what class I'm playing, has always been proper. Always been proper. Like, it, it's always been proper. Now, if one of my friends see this video and want to talk trash, you know who you are, Nate. I mean, you played a death knight, you know, and your other friend played a monk at the time, and I was a feral druid. What I'm going to do? Load up dots on the, on, the, on the monk so he can karma me? Okay, and your other friend played a paladin. Matter of fact, I'm not talking to none, none of y'all no more. <laughs> none of y'all no more. Anyway, got enough, got enough whoopings from them. Okay, they're the only people that ever gave me problems and duels, and it's because they just outclassed me. To be honest, they just—that's what it was. It wasn't it wasn't anything to do with skill. Maybe on maybe on um the Death Knight part, it was skill or whatever. Because I'm not gonna hate. I, there's nothing stopping me from loading up my dots as a Feral Druid on a Death Knight. Um, this was Legion though. You guys know how Legion be, so I'm just gonna leave it at that. I'm not gonna sit here and keep salting over the fact that y'all beat me up that bad though, man. Y'all not gonna do that to me, right? But Paladin, Mythic Milk. I was going to make another Paladin on Moonguard, but I don't know. I don't know what I want to do to be honest for this expansion. Like, I'm, I love my Hunter. I'm obviously playing them all, but um, what I mean by I don't know what I want to do. I don't know if I'm going to just like level up every single class on that server or just like, you know, salvage some of my classes and move them over. I think that will probably be the better thing because I do love Mythic. Um, Janemba, obviously, nothing's ever going to happen to him. I'm never going to level up another Druid. Um, Janemba is my Druid for life. Um, my whole debate is Mythic Milk. He's, he's such a cool Paladin. Such a swagged out Paladin, man. This is what I do right here. You know I mean, and when I'm walking in BGs, you know what I mean? People be like, oh, he got the drip. He dripping. Look at him. Look at that pally. Don't mess with that guy. And I'm telling you, people don't mess with me because they know better. They know better. Let me see if I got. Let me see if I got the other thing up in here. Because people don't. People don't be knowing. Oh, never. Mind. I was. I was kicking it old school with this one, right? I was kicking it old school with that one. Um. I, I don't have it, but I have the Might of Men Thaw and stuff like that, so it looks even better with this um, armor. This sword doesn't really match the armor or whatever, but at the time I didn't know that you could switch like any weapon to any weapon. Let me see. Well, I guess I, I guess I knew that you could switch an axe to a sword. I don't know. I don't know how any of that stuff worked at the time when I was doing this or whatever, but I definitely need to go rematch this weapon because it does not look fly at all. But this has been King Vox. This video is getting hella long. Say hello to Mythic Milk. This is one of my favorite characters and I never play. I never play. Maybe that might change. Maybe. Maybe not.